Yeah, we're at the American Auto Flower Cup. I'm chilling with Belzo. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. It's it, There's a lot of people I've never met before, people from all around the world. It's exciting. What brings you to the American Auto Flower Cup? Uh, just being excited to be on a different side of, I think, the cannabis industry. I'm very, like, brand-facing, so it's, you know, it's cool to connect with people who are growing the stuff that we smoke and we sell and we market. So. Have you had any experience with Auto Flower before this cup, or...? I hadn't, um, but you know I've been around a lot of these growers and these breeders, and they're really passionate about it. And I think it's you know especially with cannabis being more mainstream and people maybe wanting to grow more at home. I think it's definitely like a at home grower starter type of situation, right? Yeah. Have you tried any of the auto flowers? Any of the entries? No. Oh yes, I, I have. I couldn't say that I've been you know judging like they are, but you know I've been around all the judges, smoking a lot of what they've been smoking. And I think the biggest thing for us was that there's a lot of stuff that smells good and looks good, but isn't necessarily smoke good, which is really intriguing, so. And was it smoking? Yeah. <laughs> I, I Supposedly, a lot of the, the flowers in the 30s were the winners, so that was really interesting. I've been hearing that. They said, look at the 30s. I've been hearing that. They yeah. Were, yeah. Were you smoking some of them? I, I'm ready to. I just saw some. I, I, I talked to some of the entries, and they showed me some of the weed. I smoked some last year. I got to try some last year. I wasn't there last year. I know it was at the Green Street yeah. space, but, you know, 62 entries. They've been smoking since yesterday. You know, it messes with the mind. You know, 62 different. Do you see a future with Autoflower in the States, and uh, on the shelves, stores, dispensaries having it, growers growing it? Yeah, I mean, I think that there is, you know, a product for everyone, and it's really just the people who, you know, maybe aren't as much legacy grow growers and care so much about how it's grown, but more about the outcome. And it seems like after all the stuff we've been smoking, the outcomes are getting better every year. They are. I've seen, uh, uh, it's like with the different genetics, they make the autoflower a little bit better. So I'm excited to see the future of autoflower. Yeah, no, for sure. And I just won some genetics what? from Mephs. How do you say that? Mephisto. Mephisto. Mephisto, Mephisto like a fist because they drop in. What'd you win? Uh, forgotten strawberries. What? One feminized seed, which means I'm about to grow this, girl. So. Let's go. The autoflower. Make it happen. Belzo out here, American Autoflower Cup. Thank you for hanging out. Thanks, Adam. Appreciate you. Yeah.